Chelsea. As I said, Sarkisian up against Agassi next. Sarkisian, 31 years old, and Agassi, the oldest man in the draw. Yeah, they're as old as uh, the gentleman in this booth. These guys do share a, a similar experience. Kiefer recently a silver medalist at the Olympics in doubles, falling to Nicholas Massu, as you mentioned, who had that great match with Sargisian. And Fernando Gonzalez, the men from Chile, winning the gold medal. Kiefer teaming up with Reiner Schuttler, a surprise run, really, in the doubles for the Germans. And of course, Tim Henman winning the silver medal back in 96 with Neil Broad. Gifts Kiefer a break point early on in the third. Yeah, in fact, the Germans had uh, four match points in the fourth set tiebreak before losing to Gonzalez and uh, Masu 6 4 in the fifth. Big time tennis from Hemant. Wants to keep this run going, keep himself in front, keep his man down. Yes. And that was a massive point. Boy, wasn't it ever. Finally able to finish. I was worried about the short backhand. Suddenly Kiefer's attacking the net. The Germans had some success up there, but Hemant a sequence of backhand down the line and forehand to end the point. So a fair amount of tension right here at the start of this third set. It's a strange yes. point. First to miss it from him, and then Kiefer getting a little lucky, but that net call stayed in the court. And this turning into quite a crucial game at the beginning of the third. could use more of those first serves. More planes flying overhead here out of LaGuardia Airport. Oh, yes. Kiefer, stunning forehand up the line. Yeah, this you thought was good enough to earn him the point. Depth, spin. Should Hemman have given him the cross-court pass here? Maybe, but 
He just looks like yeah, he may have moved a little bit too far to the center. But that was one heck of a shot. Oh, that's that was that first volley from him. And it's taken over the mantle of the best follier in the world. Tennis by both men, and again, keeper unable to take his chance. But Hemant, well, he's like a goalkeeper at the net there, trying to stop that ball from getting past him. Here's one, here's another. Yeah, good effort. Ellie keeps the run alive. Six consecutive games. And I'm sure he's thinking, if I can get a break here, boy, this would be a big boost. Fair comment, would you say that Hemant, the best bowler in the world right now, when you watched Federer play at Wimbledon, he played a lot of his tennis at the back of the court. Oh, yeah, no, I think Hemant's clearly the best volleyer. I mean, Federer is a fine player, great all-rounder, but I think when it comes to the volley, Hemant knows how to produce volleys, not just in terms of technique, but from awkward positions and having to be creative up there. Henman is the man. Henman is starting to enjoy the type of tennis as well that Keith is playing. He's sort of got in rhythm. Finally, you see him hitting through the backhand return. Yeah, he even got over that one a little bit. There had some dip on the ball. there actually getting caught going away from the net instead of closing it down yeah and Hedman surprised him by actually reaching that ball and doing something with it nice little piece of invention cross court and Kiefer dumped the volley he's not going to make that list of best volleyers with that kind of play although you might in your day you were still you know top 200 when it came to the volleys <laughs> that high on your, on your best day, you were right there. Such a good approach. Short up the middle, impossible for Keeper to do anything with. And Kiefer now being beaten to the net by Henman. Early on, Kiefer was getting there ahead of the Brit. Now Henman has reestablished his dominance. Eight days for Kiefer, but Hemant convinced it was out. Hawkeye would suggest that it got enough paint on it to be considered an ace. serves and every first serve in this set 
Edmund would dearly love him to miss this one. Third chance to break. did miss it but Hemman unable to take his chance Tremendous get from Keeper. Just wonderful hands on that lob. Yeah, that was a solid volley by Henman. And Kiefer put the lob right on the line. And Henman does a pretty good job of getting to this. I mean, he makes a play, forces the German to play another ball, but that's just too many steps away. Lovely cat and mouse types of points being played. Yeah, Hendon's always prowling the baseline, giving his opponent the impression that he's going to come in, then staying back, changing variety of speed and pace. No one does it better, unless perhaps it's Roger Federer. Vintage Hemant. Again, it looks as if it's a ground stroke, but he sneaks in, able to play the ball on the fly. And plenty of court to hit it into. And that is a good feeling. Can he capitalize again? Fourth time he's had a break point this game. Kiefer donates with the overhead. The sun's up there, but again, from the big moments, Kiefer has failed to deliver, and Hemant continues this run. Seven consecutive games now. Well, here is a look at the slow motion volley. Amazing detail in that video a special camera courtside here at the u.s open produces those images <laughs> 